In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a command that your mods or viewers can use that will send a clip of your stream directly to a folder on your PC and also send the Twitch clip link to your Twitch chat. Let me show you how to start one up. So your first step is to go into settings in OBS and then go down to output. We're going to set up a replay buffer. So the replay buffer, what this does is it has a feature in OBS that when a uh, button is pushed, a hotkey, when that is pushed, it will trigger a command in OBS that will send a clip directly to your PC as a MP4 file. So you don't have to go through Twitch and search through your stream and try to find that funny moment you wanted to clip. It will be sent directly to a folder ready to edit. Um, save so much time. So I use this literally every stream. Uh, whenever I stream, I, I probably have like 50 clips from this stream every, every single time. It's super useful. So what you want to do is go to settings output, make sure the advanced mode is on and then go over to replay buffer. This maximum replay time, you can set it up however long you want. I have 90 seconds just in case I don't miss anything. So set the, the uh, seconds up. Um, keep in mind that is in seconds. So this is going to be like a minute and a half, I think. So. Once you get that set up, you want to go over to recording and then go somewhere on your PC, make a folder, name it like replay buffer or clips, Twitch clips, whatever you want, and then go into recording path, browse your computer, select that folder you just made, and then go to recording format, make sure it's MP4. And for my settings, this is encoder. It's the NVIDIA NVENC H264. The rescale output is 1920 by 1080. And I don't know what that is. I just have split by time. So these are my other settings. Um, just go on, like try to mess around with your settings. So I'm sure it's different on uh, whatever graphics card you have and whatnot. But my rate control is CBR. The bit rate is 6,000 kilobytes, keyframe zero. And the rest, I believe, are all default. So now once we have that set up, the most important feature is to set up a hotkey so this would work. So I want to go over to hotkeys. Scroll down until you see a replay buffer and then the save replay type in two numbers or letters or whatever, two keys on your keyboard that you normally don't press the same time when you're playing a game. So I have control F8 because there's no way I'm going to type those at the same time or push those buttons while I'm playing a game. Um, the reason for that, you want to make sure they're different buttons you don't normally put, press because if it's just like the letter A button. Next time you're on a keyboard and you have the replay buffer turned on on OBS, uh, you will have like hundreds of clips because I made that mistake before where I set the button to A and uh, I was typing, playing games, and next thing I know I have like 100 random clips because every time I pressed the A button, it would save a clip to my folder. So make sure they're buttons you normally don't press a lot of. So I have Control F8. Now once we have that set up, you want to go down to Apply. And underneath the start, uh, start streaming uh, button on OBS, there's going to be a stop or start replay buffer. You will always want to make sure that is turned on. So now we're going to go into mix it up. And then go into commands. Go down to new command. And then it will bring up a window looking like this. So now once we have a command editor opened, I named mine clip. The command group, it's just going to make a folder if you name it. So I named mine clip as well to keep it organized. And the chat triggers, I just named it clip again. So this is what the, uh, the bods or viewers are going to use to trigger this command. So now we need two actions. So go down to actions, click on uh, input to keyboard and mouse, and it will bring up this action right here. So the type is going to be keyboard, the keyboard key. Since there's only going to be one keyboard key, it's going to be F8. And the action is going to be click. And since I have two keys as a hotkey on OBS, you want to make sure the control button is turned on since you're going to be pressing the control button since mine's control F8. So once you set those or link those buttons up for the hotkey, we're going to go back down to actions and click on Twitch. So once you open up Twitch, uh, the action, you want to make sure the type is going to be clip. Include delay is turned on and show info in chat. Make sure that is turned on as well. So now once the viewer or mod, whoever, uh, sets this up as a command, sends it in chat, it will trigger these two things. So it's going to 
trigger this saying mix it up's going to say hey we just press these two buttons and it's going to send it over to obs since that's a hot key on that program and it's going to be like hey these buttons are being used let's make a replay buffer and it will send that replay buffer into your folder on your pc and then it's going to trigger the twitch command saying hey there's a twitch uh twitch clip being made let's send it into twitch chat so it's going to actually send a link into your twitch chat so other viewers can watch that clip of like a funny moment or you be like jump scares or something funny so uh, those are two actions that you need in this command editor and one thing to keep in mind is there's always trolls going through twitch so if you don't want to have like a bunch of random clips or if they spam this a lot you can always go up to user requirements click on the user role and if you only want mods to use this command you can click on roles go down to moderator so only mods can use this i have it set as user and if somebody like starts spamming this command i can always like time them out but i haven't had an issue with it yet so that's just a fun little feature on uh mix it up that you can set up and have like fun with your viewers if they scare you or whatever they can clip it and send it directly to your folder on your pc so you can have it ready to go for editing and making like uh tiktok clips and whatnot and that is how you can have your community send a clip directly to your pc from the twitch chat so if you have any questions on how to set this up or need help with anything let me know in the comments down below if this tutorial helped you out in any way please like and subscribe to the channel i'm trying to currently reach a thousand subscribers and it would help me out a lot and yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial and have a great day.